Yeah. So the first one we were talking about is you, so you the reason why you're going to be dating someone is to get to know them. Right. That's so important because when we were dating, what was something that stood out to you as far as getting to know me that was, let's say, a challenge for you? Well, because I am an extrovert and I am talkative and you are an introvert mm -hmm. and you are a thinker. And at the time, I didn't know that. And right. so one of the challenges was understanding how to get you to open up mm -hmm. and asking you over and over and over and over again was not a good strategy and so a part of it is learning how to communicate with the person in a way that makes them open up mm -hmm. and so i realized for you it was not asking you over and over and over again it was just asking you what you think it's really hard when you are a believer and right. you want to and I, I think it's even wrong for us as believers to have an expectation of godly behavior from people who have not committed to follow Christ. And I would even say that while we are followers of Christ, everybody may not be. Right. Like, whatever your religious or your spiritual your faith, 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 your faith base right. is, it should be equal. It should be the same. Yeah. Because imagine you get mixed up with someone who is totally opposite of what you may believe You're or be follow. Do you right. think that's going to cause a conflict? Yes. Let us tell you from experience of 18 plus years <laughs> of working with it's gonna be a, a lot problem. of people that are faith and not faith. So that's just a, something that came because we try to apply things that are actually happening in real life. And that was something that happened in real life. So that compatibility is very, very much important because on the other side of that, what about the lifestyle? Do you think dating and knowing a person's lifestyle is important? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why? Because if let's just say for example if and if i even even like our exercise habits our nutritional habits hi welcome in we're so glad you're here um if our lifestyles are different then that's going to make it hard for you it says the two should become one mm -hmm. and so if you're over here on the left and i'm on the right then more than likely we're not even going to meet up so we definitely can't be together because we talked about i, I did like a little short talking about self-care you one of the things um I, we have a lot of people in our life that we love and we are grateful for but you should be able to do stuff with yourself have you ever gone to a movie by yourself have you ever all the things you want someone else to do for you do you get your own nails done do you get your own feet done i don't do you oh i know you don't like <laughs> oh you're talking to the ladies no right talking to the ladies, no, ladies, 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 ladies so date yourself and if you're married, date your mate. So if you, if you say, well, I'm sitting on Hannah body, date yourself, enjoy yourself, enjoy the, the freedom to go where you want to go and eat the food you want to go to the restaurant you want to do. Is that rhetorical? Or you want no, me I'm to asking answer? you, I want you to answer it. I or you think, want me to answer first? How about you go? Okay, I'm going to answer I, first. Because you can tell she wanted to go I'm first. I'm going to answer something. first. If I were a Garmin, Garmin I, yep. I would be a pair of blue jeans because one of the things I love about blue jeans is that blue jeans don't lie to you. If you have gained weight, guess what? Your jeans, they don't fit you. And so I think in the relationships, I'm the kind of person that if something is not working, I'm going to tell you. And so it's important that we are open to knowing. Like, I mean, your jeans, you can you can blame the dryer, you can blame, but really the reason why the jeans don't fit it's because we did something too much of something or not enough of something. So that's what I would be if I were a article coach.